Well, I think we've made it, Reese. The brown light. Here it is. Did you see the red carpet? No, I didn't see it. Uh, just, just like to thank Hal in the hierarchy for inviting us along. It's, uh, it's a pleasure, and it's good to see the room full. Obviously, after a couple of years, uh, we haven't got to do it. Um, some uh, full footy royalty in here as well. We've got boys to over the back there. Uh, hopefully, we'll get an interview with him. We've got Gibbsy, Bully, Muddy Elliot. So. Um, have a bit of fun tonight. We'll uh, got a few notes on all the grades, and um, what do you reckon? Yeah, absolutely, Reese. We'll run through before each before each B and F. We'll have a little bit of commentary on the. Uh, we'll have to get out of the way on the people that are up the top of the ladder. Uh, so be prepared to perhaps be uh, asked a couple of questions during the night if you're going well. Perhaps keep your head down. But uh, other than that, we hope we have a bit of fun and uh, and make it a little bit of an more of an entertaining night for you. Um, Marissa, so congratulations. That was a really good count. You won. You were a bit of a, a runaway leader in the end. Um, so you play for Lakes. How, how long have you been playing netball? Um, this is my first season. <laughs> well done. I was chatting to your dad earlier. He's a good Newbra boy. Um, his dad, a, dad's a footy coach. Is he pretty hard on you at netball as well? No, he's not quite a fan of netball. Too many rules. But he loves watching <laughs> Lakes. What about his haircut? <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Now we've got Ash. Great season. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How was your dad's influence this year? Um, he was usually golfing, so he didn't really come to the games, but yeah. Yeah, yeah that's not true. I've seen him there a lot. Yep. Okay, now, um, how was the season in general? It was good. Our team finished second on the ladder, which is a great effort for the girls. We're not finished yet, are we? We're going to go down there and give it to boys out this week if they're in the house to go. It's Wyong, but... Oh, Wyong! <laughs> next week. We'll get through next week. Anyway, so, um, thanks, girls. Yeah. Well done, girls. Good work. All right, guys. So, we've got, we've got the, the best and fairest and the runner-up here. Um, we, that was a really good count, girls. It was very close at the end. I think you were all tied up there with one round to go. There's a few nerves at the table. Everyone was on the edge of their seats. They stopped thinking about supper there for a while, Reese. You haven't stopped talking about supper, I might add, in between rushing to the bar. So, Indy, fantastic. Uh, Wyung, uh, what position do you play? Oh, usually goal attack or mid-court centre. <laughs> yeah. Excellent, excellent. Um, and your coach, what sort of an influence has your coach had on you this year? Oh, she's a big influence. Yeah, she's good. Both my coaches are great. Excellent. We, we wouldn't be an interview without asking what about mum and dad? How, does, let's ask about dad. Does dad come to watch? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's bad luck. Very bad luck. He's not allowed to. No. He's going red up there too. <laughs> Embarrassing. <him>. Yay. <laughs> okay, well done. Andy. Thanks, Indy. Now, uh, there is some good pedigree at Wyong, so I'm sure they're training you out there. They're, they're keeping a close eye on proceedings down here. But, Ashley, congratulations. Great season. Come second to a jet. Um, how was personally? You, you, you've enjoyed it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to elaborate? No. no. What about the club out Linden? Are they, you liking it? Yeah, it's good. It's <laughs> good. Now, um, does your parents come watch or are they bad luck as well? Um, only my mum. Good work. So all your dads just stay away from the netball and it's uh, better luck. So thanks girls, enjoy the night. Thanks guys. How are you? Oh, sorry, congratulations Kira. good on you. Congratulations. Yeah, well done Kira. good stuff. <laughs> um, so, do they give you an award or something Andrew? Do we have to go and get... <laughs> I'm sure that'll be that'll be later. Yeah, oh, awesome. So you've got to be their grand final day. Um, so are you Gibbsy's daughter? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bad luck about that. No, he's actually a fa he's one of our favourites on a kick in the bush. He came on. He did a fantastic job. Uh, how, so yourself, you be, you've been playing netball for how long? Um, I played netball for Lakes last year, but other than that, just little games. Excellent. Does Dad try and coach you like he tries to, you know, coach everyone else at football? Yeah, he thinks he knows everything. 
<laughs> now, is he allowed around the court or is he bad luck like the rest of the dads around here? Oh, he usually has to sit in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that be, you think? Um, his comments. <laughs> well, nothing's changed on that bike, has it? But, um, you know, personally, where do you play? Usually GA. Don't get any centre time. Last game I did for a quarter, but that's about it. Who's the coach? Kylie Kerno and Nikki Yates. Nice work, girls. You heard it first. She wants to play in the centre. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. So, Indy, who do you barrack for in the AFL? Oh, Collingwood. <laughs> who do you barrack for in the National Netball League? Oh, Vixens, probably, yeah. Have you ever been down to watch the Vixens? Yeah, a few times. And who's your favourite player? Oh, probably Kate Maloney. That's it. <laughs> now, favourite position net, playing netball? Goal attack. And what do you what, what do you find best about playing netball with the girls, or is it getting down there just being around the club? Yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> That you've done well. Uh, awesome effort and great year, Indy. So thank you. Thank you. All right. So next up, we've got the the seventeen and a halfs football. Four ones, and that goes to Jake Humphreys. Um, so listen, Doc, thanks for coming up, even though you didn't win the award. Welcome to a kick in the bush, mate. We've been trying to get you on this show. You haven't tried to, right? <laughs> <laughs> now listen, there's a bit of rumour going around that you've been running around in your jocks down in Orbost. Is that true? <laughs> no. We're talking about Jake Humphreys here tonight. So uh, Jake's a good little uh, hard knacker and um, he's kept our third side uh, going all year and it's a credit to him and this is um, just rewards for his effort throughout the year. So uh, tremendous family at home. Um, and he's had a really good year and couldn't be more happier for him. What spot does Jake play? Uh, pretty much everywhere in our thirds, mate. We bat they battled through with um, down to nine, ten players throughout the year, so the poor little bugger was everywhere and um, uh, did his best to uh, get aside there, help the coach every week. So, um, as you can imagine, he'd be, he, he was everywhere. So, yeah, good work. And is there any mail on, on Orbos for next year? Anything exciting happening? Any big signings already? Uh, yeah, I think the rail trail bridge is getting built next year. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're going really well in Orbos. And, um, um, yeah, no, seriously, look, well, we're always uh, looking for people to come in and join our club. And um, it'd be good to have a few um, come along. We'll just have to wait and see what happens over the summer. Uh, nice work, Doc. Now, um, the under-15s were strong this year. Obviously, Rossi uh, tried his hardest this year. Have we got a few of them coming through up there in Orbos next year, or are they still bottom majors in the 15s as well? Um, our under-17s, Bruce. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, are they coming through the under-15s? <laughs> yeah, no. We've, um, our under-15 boys on a Sunday were top of the ladder most of the year, but uh, unfortunately they went out in straight sets during the finals. But um, there's some good kids there. Um, the trouble is at home. We've only got about 220 kids at the secondary school there and um, so it's you know it's a battle to have um, numbers full up but um, we're working hard at it and uh, we just want the kids to be enjoying their sport and um, trying to get Mr Seal to uh, keep them at school a bit longer and educate them nicely. That'd be really good. Well Sealy just lower the grades mate you know what I mean make a C and A and vice versa. No worries. All right. Right. Cheers, Doc. OK, and now the under 17 and a half rising star award winner goes to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the same one. Yeah, it's the same. OK, oh, okay so apparently it's the same one, so it goes to John Eagles from Wire. 
Congratulations, Jai. 69 goals, mate. You've had a pearl of a season. I reckon you probably kicked 24 of them against us this year. Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> nah, um, yeah, I had a all right year, I guess. Played a couple of Sandy games, a few 17 games, and yeah. Nice work. Now, were you playing predominantly through the midfield or a forward? Uh, oh, anywhere but back on. <laughs> <laughs> Good move. Uh, Jai, so top age? Yeah, five, six days. Well done. Excellent. Well done, Tim. Um, so, mate, what's your plans next year for footy? Oh, don't know yet. Hopefully, this place stay at Wollong, I reckon. Except for get a game in the lines, maybe. Well, that's that's a good answer. Stay at Why, young uh, mate. You're in what year at school? Are you in? No, nah, I don't go to school. What are you doing? Plumbing. Everyone, there's plenty of plumbers around, mate. Anyone needs a plumber? Who do you work for? Uh, Chad Trinder. Get on there, Chatty Trinder. Yep, he's actually his uh, father is one of the awards is named after him. That's not uh, no. The next one. So well done, mate. Congratulations. Thanks, Dr. Have a great night. Cheers. Reese and I have been, well, Reese has been watching the under 17 and a half this year, having been the coach of the Lucknow boys, who um, unfortunately got beaten in the first semi on the weekend. Uh, bad luck there, mate. Uh, Wyung went through to the grand final, and we've got Lakes versus Lindo in the Lindo in the prelim on Saturday. So as we look at the the leaderboard, we've got Nate Somerville on 11. What do we know about Nate? <laughs> <laughs> he's a, I've got here that he's a hard-nosed, he's, he's a hard-nosed Nate Somerville. What does that mean? <laughs> what did you write there, Reese? Maybe I'll let you do that one. <laughs> no, um, obviously seeing a lot of these boys firsthand. And uh, as a credit to the comp, the top three sides were pretty much a standout. And then the rest were sort of, were about the same. But uh, yeah, Nate had a good slow start to the year. He had a couple of games in the seniors. Strong, strong boys. Uh, bigger than most kids in that age group and he can play any position. Jack May, speedy winger, throw him back forward wherever you want and Jai, we've seen, you know, he's kicked 69 goals for the year and whichever comp you play, kicking that many goals, that's a good effort. So uh, good luck to him. Uh, Elijah and uh, Ben uh, bring up the bottom end. So, um, you know, I think we get into it. We've got a couple previews there. Um, yeah, just one that would be remiss of us not to mention that this is the Chris Woodward medal. Uh, this one, the under seven and a half's best and fairest. And of course, it hasn't been awarded for two years due to COVID. And the last winner was Kurt Lee Farley from Orbost. I've been doing my homework. So over to you, Pauline. Thinking your coach might have had a bit to do with you coming along so far this year? Oh, yeah, he's all right. He's a, he's a good guy, good coach. Uh, Sully was a big impact as well, I think. He had a <laughs> big role too, but yeah. Don't worry about Sully. Um, no, you've had an awesome year. Now, um, you know, just thinking the mums and that, that was beautiful. I think you oh, might have it? a few, the girls might be chasing you on the way out, especially with the head of hair like the that. The hair team, so. mate, yeah, does it. The hair's, the hair's the trick. Now, um, we're finished for the year. What's, what, what does the rest of the season hold for you? What are we doing now in the off-season? Uh, work, go, go, finish school, graduate, and then uh, work, and then, I don't know, come back maybe, 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 I don't know. Now, what did I tell you, blokes? Don't worry about working until you hit the age and you have to work state paying bills. So, thanks, Henry. Not too easy. So, Emmett, Emmett, congratulations. You you won the won the count. That was pretty tight towards the end, mate. So, you guys have got a preliminary final on Saturday. Um, you know, what spot do you play? Uh, generally through the guts, just a bit of a like a mid forward role. Yeah. And, and what uh, what have you got in store? You, what, how are you feeling about the weekend? Who are you playing? Uh, we've got Lindeno up at, up at Stratty, so it's it's normally a pretty good contest with those boys, and, yeah, they always bring their, their A game, so it'll be a good one, yeah. And what's on special at the Lake Tires pub at the moment? Oh, you'd have to ask Dad, probably. Yeah, I wouldn't know. <laughs> bit of fish. Don't know. <laughs> Tone? Yeah, we'll see you down there AFL Grand Final weekend, I reckon, down in the tavern. So, um, Jet, mate, equal runner-up, younger sister Pipcha. Yeah, yeah, she got me, got me again. Could be some bragging rights, I reckon, on the way home. But um, you, your dad, you know, he was an underwhelming footballer. Let's put it like that. Where's all the talent come from? 
just <laughs> Hi, sister, Renee. Yeah. yeah, I see her. I've been, wa I've been waiting for her to put her hand up and kind of get a mention. Nah, mate, um, awesome year. Now, a couple games in the ones as well? Yeah, a couple. Yeah. How'd you like that? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Skip taste. Now, you're bottom mage this year, so you still got another year? You're out. Um, yeah, last year in 17s. Nice work. Right. Now, you. 18 today. 18 today. What are we doing? What's, what are we doing? I'm here. <laughs> are we having a party woods afterwards? Nah, nah. <laughs> Quite one. School right. tomorrow. School tomorrow, so. Yeah. Has anyone shouted him a schooner? Yep. John Nichols. <laughs> Righto, boys. Thanks very much. These are massive talkers. Cheers, Henry. The, count, uh, the crowd were on the edge of their seats. Uh, it was fantastic. So well done, Claire, on 27. Chloe on 24. Adele on 19, uh, wherever she is. So congratulations. Listen, Claire, um, you, you, you have played in a first semi on the weekend. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it was a really good game. Um, well done to Stratford. Um, we fought hard, but they, they definitely came out with the win. They were the stronger team on the day. And, yeah, all the best for the finals. Claire, did you have a mad Monday? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Went to work on Monday and, yep, definitely <laughs> no mad Monday for me. <laughs> but it might be a long trip home to Orbos tonight, night maybe via the bottle shop. Uh, Claire, what position do you play? Uh, I play centre. Yep. Excellent. Well done, Claire. Awesome there, Chloe. You've had a great season. Um, you're saying you're just enjoying it down there. What is it that you enjoy down at Boisal this year? Um, I honestly couldn't tell you. There's just something about the club that just, like, it just is home. It's my home club, and I'll probably never leave. So, <laughs> um, yeah, they just, they, the boys get around the netball, the girls get around the footy, and you just feel so welcome. So, yeah, thanks, guys. Oh, isn't that lovely? Now, so, uh, the bus back to boys, there'll be a few sherbets, or did everyone just carpool? Uh, kind of carpool, but there's definitely some festivities in the works, so can't wait for those because we're going to get a bit rowdy, I reckon. Oh, there you go. You've heard it first. Now, um, bedge good. How many bedge goods are down in Boysdale and Mafra, and which one are you related to? The coach or someone from Mafra? A bit of all of them. Yeah. Sam Bedgegood, cousin. Uh, Maddie plays C grade. She's my sister. And then there's a few at Sale Footy Club as well. So we're a bit everywhere. <laughs> awesome work. Thanks, girls. Have a great night and uh, stick around. Thanks. You too. It's about a, a couple of the players that aren't yet up on the board, but I've got a secret list here of, of uh, the top five as they stand after round ten. Uh, and the first one's a, a, I would call her a friend of mine. I know she can fight and she can box, but what does she know about netball? Yeah, Lucy. Lucy Average you're talking about from Wyang. Um, really good mid-quarter for the C-grade. Um, I'd call her almost the glue for the C-grade side this year. Very quick, very, very fast. Probably what she is like boxing to. Um, not surprised to see her on the leaderboard so far when that comes up at some point. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, really quick, really good little player loose. And I've, I've got Lindsay Corridus on the list too from Boysdale Briag and I can see Mum over there and the Boysdale Briag crew, they're going to have a big night on the way home, Bruce, I can tell you. Can you tell me a little bit about Lindsay? I've heard she's a fast-paced shooter, but I'm sure you know more than that. I do know, and unfortunately I know because I actually had to play against her when it come up and she reminded me why I don't play goal defence anymore and I'm back in keeper. She is quick and she's a brilliant shot. Um, she's also a great little feeder. She plays a real good second fiddle in that goal attack position and yeah she'll she'll hit you when you don't man her up and when you do man her up she'll make sure she hits the post so very very handy player Lindsay. And we're still waiting for the leaderboard but don't worry guys the mystery is over because Nellie Austin's another girl that's that's in the top top five at the moment after round 10 and if my research uh, tells me correctly you guys played against them in the first semi on the weekend. What do you know about Nellie Austin? 
Yeah, and Ali Austin from Orbost, um, really experienced um, defender. She plays out at goal defence. She was really good on the weekend. She did a fantastic job against us. Um, she'd be a real headache, I think, for most opponents. She's been over at Bansdale, played in the Gippsland League um, over there in B grade. And um, before that, she was at Orbost. And I think she's won two. Nell, am I right? Two league bests and fairest in B? I am right. There you go. Um, so not surprised to see her name once again. She's been at this night before, and she's done well. And I wouldn't be shocked if she does well this night. Too. And you, uh, Wyung, are up against the Stratty girls in the prelim on Saturday in this grade in C grade. And Elise Tate has polled very well up to this stage, uh, up to round 10. Tell us a bit about Elise. Yeah. Another really experienced player. I know her as Shilgi, is that right? Shilgi, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so really experienced. Once again, out at goal attack. Um, smart, very, very smart netballer. I think if you give her any sort of room, she'll she'll hurt you and she'll damage sides. And once again, a really good feeder to the other shooter and really good space awareness in her game. So really dangerous player, and I think she'll be dangerous this weekend. So I'm sure Wyang are doing, sure the Wyang coach is doing her work against Shilgi, and it's good to see her up here. Very well deserved. And to round off the top five, which we still can't show you, uh, we've got a Lindeno girl, Melanie Blanahassett, who actually had a win in the uh, second semi on the weekend against against Stratty. Uh, what do you know about Melanie? Yeah. So the Lyndon OC grade undefeated, um, super, super polished side. Mal is a big part of that side. She plays at goal defence and through that defensive end and she takes a lot of ball. She's a real big ball winner. Um, when I coached um, the first time we played Lyndon, I saw her in B grade and she had a really good game in B and then by that stage she'd come back down to C. The second time we played them and she was um, she was dominating actually I'd use in that goal defence and just very smart, very tall. Uh, any sort of shot you'll miss she'll rebound and takes a lot of ball out the front. Loves a good hunt too, which I love in a goal defence. Well done. Thank you, Caitlin. That was far more informative than Reese and I. On with the vote. Uh, Dougie, thanks for giving us a couple of minutes of your time just to um, give everyone a little bit of an insight into, into the mind of a coach at East Gippsland Football Netball League level. Uh, you had a very close game on the weekend. How uh, against Stratford. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about perhaps, you know, what went right, what went wrong? Well, if you've got a couple of hours, I could go through that with you. Um, as I said on uh, Tuesday night at training, that if uh, if you lose by a point, everybody has done something that they would like to do differently. So I think that everybody in the team would have done something. All the people off the ground could have done something different. And that's it, really. Yeah, there's a lot of things that you'd change, and they're all probably just little things. But uh, that's what it was. And this weekend, you'll be down at Stratford uh, against Lindeno. Did you get to the Lindeno game on the weekend? Uh, and did you get to study them? What did you see about Lindeno that, uh, that might give you some idea about how to play against them this weekend? Yeah, we certainly went to the Lindeno game. I was surprised at the pace of Kane Ashwood. I, I thought he'd got slower, but he actually was very quick. Um, no, look, Lindeno and Lucknow played a very good game. It was a close game there too, and obviously, uh, you know, Lucknow only lost by two points. But, uh, I mean, you, you learn a little bit every game and you watch it, but it all depends how we play, and that's up to us to make sure that we play as well as we can. Now, Doug, I know you, you've coached a lot in the past. Uh, how, this is your first year at Wyung this time around, second year. Uh, you, you've been involved even in recruiting in years gone by with Richmond Footy Club. What, what have you seen happen in football? I, I'm not sure exactly when you started being involved in a coaching capacity, but what have you noticed about football now in the 21st century and the, you know, the 20, 20 years into the 21st century that was different, you know, I'm not going to say in the last century, but, but years ago. Um, I think people like uh, pretend media people have made the game a lot different than what it really is. I mean, I think if you listen to David King and all those idiots, they think that the game's a lot different. Um, people that you know that, that uh, understand the game and at our level, and every level, it's really got to have connection with people. You've got to enjoy the place you're at. And also, uh, the most important thing, and John Kennedy would always say, you actually have to get the ball. You can do all these lovely theories that David King and his mates would have. No surprise, David King's never coached. But um, you actually just have to be a good place for people to want to go and play. They've got to play for one another and uh, have a system of play that uh, you believe is good enough if you can implement it. 
No, very true, true. Um, so, Doug, just to finish up, uh, and we're ready to go, but but I, I, well, I've got you. Um, so can you, like, what do you love about being a coach? Like, again, I've said, you know, you coached for a long, long time. What what inspires you or, you know, or what? what why are you silly enough to come back and do it again, one or the other? Um, why own footy clubs are great, football network clubs are great club. There's a lot of very good people there. Uh, I've been associated with it on and off for a long time and I think that uh, if you're working with good people and you like their company and they want to improve and I can help a little bit and really I'm a very small wheel in a big show there and it's just a good club and it's a great place to be and, and as you can see plenty of people here today and there'll be a lot of people there Saturday and win, lose or draw any game there will be because it's a good joint. Thank you very much, Doug. Thanks, Doug. On 28 votes, and Lindsay, fantastic on 25. It's going to be a big night at that bus home, Boysdale to Briag. That's just getting bigger and bigger, I tell you. And Nelly Austin, well done on 21. Elise Tate, 20 from Stratty, just close behind. And Melanie Blenner Hassett from Linden on 17, who we talked about earlier. Lucy. You're a bit of a kick in the bush regular, <laughs> but usually we talk to you about boxing. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about about the difference between boxing and netball, and you know what skills you need to have that are different, other than you know punching people, which you told us last time. I can't punch people. <laughs> <laughs> tell us a bit about why you love netball and how it breaks up your your sport. I think it's just being involved in a team sport. I mean, boxing is such a lone, lonesome thing that you do it by yourself, and it's not to be a part of the girls down at Wyong and everyone gets around each other, which is fantastic. So, yeah, it's good. Now, last time you won something, we lost your mum for about 24 hours. Is she here tonight? Is Kelly here? No. No, she isn't. Well, you better tell her that, you, that you've won something else. <laughs> so, Luce, what position do you play? Uh, Centre. Yeah. Uh, are you, when's your next fight? 15th of October. Is that going to be in Bandstar? Yeah. Is that hot off the press? Yeah. <laughs> so, 15th of October, get your tickets to Wildfighter. And... I'm sure you also have another game on Saturday. So get down to the netball as well. So good luck with that too, Luce. Awesome. Cheers, Lucy. Now, all the best for your upcoming fight in front of the home crowd. Make sure you get down there and support. Now, Lindsay, fast-paced shooter. Is that your favourite position, or do you like playing in the centre as well? Uh, yeah, I like playing shooter better, but... <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> now, um, the girls down there got a bit of a good thing going out of boys out at the moment with the netballers. Talk to us through it. Uh, what are you doing? He's getting on the sauce on a Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, he's obviously building something this year. Um, yeah, it's just a really friendly club. Like, so welcoming and just, yeah, anyone new that comes is always so welcomed. And, yeah, since 15, so I've been welcomed into the club and felt sort of like a family out there. So, yeah, it's good to be a part of. Awesome work. Thanks, girls. You've had a uh, good season and all the best for finals. Righto, Pop, uh, 67 goals for the year, mate. You've had a good year and, um, you's, you know, as an individual, you've had a good year, but in the reserves, uh, you've really started to come good on the second half of the year and probably just missed out on finals. Oh, uh, yeah, only by a goal. <laughs> yeah, it should have been pretty good, but yeah. next year. Nice. Now, um, you probably poll a few votes in the main count as well? Never normally do. So. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> <laughs> now that's not true. Um, you know, you, it's always pretty formidable when you're up there clunking goals and clunking and kicking goals up there. What is it about all boss up there that makes you excel so much? I'm from there. <laughs> <laughs> not much, I don't know. I don't. Right, now, get out of here, Sealy. Come on up, mate. You've had your turn. That's all you get. Now, Sealy, the senior coach of it all, boss, um, just as we touched on with Pop, yeah, he's really built something in that second half of the year. Um, I felt it coming when we played just at home. Uh, can you dwell on it? And obviously, Pop's kicked 69 goals, and you've probably got a couple of blokes that might pull right in the main on the main card as well. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to hard to tell with when you only get three, two, one. It's hard to tell whether. Um 
players are going to get the votes or not, but certainly Dion is, is right. Things haven't been, I haven't been to a vote count for 20 years and things haven't changed much. He's still over there being a pest and I see he's wearing flares too, so I like that. So <laughs> things haven't changed in 20 years and he probably won't get a vote like he did in that time either. So yeah, yeah, yeah we, we were getting better. We've been getting better over the last couple of years and, and sort of the focus is, you know, like, like being the end of the line, you can't really go buying people in. So we just got to work on it ourselves, getting better and that's what we've been doing. And uh, you definitely have done that, but just if you uh, have a quick look at the bar and have a look at Poppy's pants and his foot attire tonight, so you might get a bit of a laugh about that. But uh, we touch on with Doc, you've got some good kids coming out of the under 15s, which is really exciting. Uh, third's not quite so much this year, but it's all looking promise you're taking on the job again next year. Uh, no, I'm not sure. You have to talk to Doc about that. Yeah, I think that's a sign up, mate. You, you take the job straight on now, get it done early. Yeah, no, we've, we have got a bit going, a bit going on there, and, and, and like I think you were talking to Doc before, we're not looking to sign sign people up or bring people in. We're just actually looking to, to grow from within, and the, and some of them are pretty young. The 15s, you know, there was a couple of couple of um, those 15s who were almost looking to, to step up and play seniors seniors this year, not quite, but and a couple of the sort of bottom age 17s were, were coming up to have a have a look around, and and they go all right, you know, the, the two Humphreys boys, and and there was a couple of kids down playing at Bensdale out of the 17s too this year, so and they were good players, whether or not they come back next year or they move on after they finish school, that's, we've just got to, sort of got to wait on that one. Nice. Now, um, we're just going to preview the reserves real quick, so just hang around, mate, because um, it could be one of yours that we might have a look at. So, uh, yeah, we've got, we probably don't have the leaderboard up yet for the reserves, but we will soon. Um, so one of the guys that's in the top five is Dane Kane from Orbost. We're told he's a bit of a legend midfielder. And he, and he actually he got in the best in 11 of the games based on the uh, on um, the computer <laughs> being Reese. Can you tell us a little bit about him? Yeah, he's been around for a long time. Won a number of senior best and Ferris. Um, moved away and lives down the line, but just he's still got all his relatives up there, so he comes home and plays weekends and just uh, just wins a lot of the footy. Awesome, thanks, Silly. Uh, now, just moving on. Obviously, we've got a couple. Uh, stay there, Silly, if you want. <laughs> Looking forward to the resis, um, Bricky and young Jackie Betts out of Wyong. So, you know, they've had good years. You know, potentially could get the call up after what happened last weekend. You would have seen them pretty close in. What's your thoughts on them? Um, at Wyong, yeah, they were, yeah, it was it was a really good game. They at quarter time, I thought they were really going to run away with it, but well done, Stratty, for just for boxing on and didn't throw it in at all. And uh, yeah, I didn't see um, much of the second, so I'm not sure whether they'd come up or not. But uh, I think Wyong probably still got a couple of players to come back in for this weekend as well. I noticed Jack Vickers didn't play, and, and uh, he's a good player to come back in. So um, whether he just slides straight back in, I'm not sure whether others will come from the reserves. Um, also, we've got Robbie Maisie from Lindeno and also uh, Murph. We've got Murph over there from Borders. I think he's getting a bit hot. I've seen him take his jacket off. Hope he's not driving because he's smashed about 10 jimmies <laughs> since he's been here. So, um, yeah. <laughs> You've got you've got him in uh, Murph as a dollar fifty favourite, mate. That, that, that's on. You've come you've come in. The, the, the people are putting money on you. So good luck. So listen, just before we start the the reserves medal, uh, the reserves medal is the Wally Trinder medal. Uh, actually, the last person to win it in 2019 was Mark McDonald from Orbos. Um, I'm sure you know him. I, I, I got this straight from Oz, Wally's son, because you know we thought it was worth finding out why the who the medal was named after. So Wally Trinder actually was a Brunswick footballer, and he won eight best and fairest at senior level in Brunswick and moved to Lindeno. The Lindeno guys can tell me whether this is true or not. He came down to Lindeno and won four best and fairest in four years, and then started playing reserves as a captain coach. He actually won four league medals in the league in reserves, and he actually polled 43 votes one year in the reserves. The next nearest was 30 over the history of the medal. So there's a little bit of history for you. So thanks for having a chat with us, uh, and we'll go on with the medal. So well done, Daniel.
Excellent. Mate, I'm surprised that you said you've never got a vote before. Rhys must have known something we didn't if he, if he had you uh, had you as a, as a sure price favourite. Uh, 21, well done. Bricky and Kane, uh, well done as well to you guys and thank you for the friends stepping in for them. I don't know about you, Daniel. I don't know if I didn't bring my glasses, but I don't see Rhys Robinson up there on the leaderboard. No, no. What happened there? Did, did his votes go missing? Uh, so actually, I think I polled the most when I played on him, so... <laughs> Oh, very good. No, well, that's good. Well, perhaps you, you can save a question then, Reese. So, Daniel, you guys won, won your second semi on the weekend. Um, is, how, how, many, um, how many finals have you played in before, grand finals, of which you've got coming up? Uh, so, I didn't play on the weekend. I was in Cairns on a wedding. Um, uh, so, in the last, I reckon, ten seasons, I've lost about eight grand finals. So, thanks for bringing it up, too. Um, but, yeah, no, really pleased to get in there. Um, Lin and O, Wyung, doesn't matter who we play, it's going to be a, a big game and, um, you know, I think it's going to come down to the wire. Both are really good sides. You might not get back in, mate. Yeah, yeah, I've been on the... I ran 10Ks last night just to prove to the coaches still got it, but uh, I've got one game left in my whole life and hopefully we can get the win. Now, Murph, um, that's a ridiculous call. Uh, you're right, I don't man up. <laughs> <laughs> now... Did you actually run 10k? Yeah, or oh, 9.9 or something. I didn't play on the weekend, so I felt like I had to do something. Not bad, not bad. Now, um, just talk us through that. Obviously, you've got a young uh, family and and wife, wife, Mrs. How is that? You know, getting up. It's it's quite difficult, isn't it? Yeah, I think, uh, I'll be honest, the, one of the biggest highlights I've had in my footy life, and I've played since I was 16, was uh, this year uh, singing the song with my boys. So every, every time we had a win, um, they'd run onto the field, I'd carry them off, and, um, you know, they'd sing the song with us, and I think that's probably my fondest memory of football. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's been really good. No, that's awesome. And, and that's a great insight, obviously, just to get that. Obviously, uh, two's footy is not all about being super serious, but it's just about being in family and being able to bring your kids and that sort of stuff along. So, awesome effort, mate. Um, all the best for finals. Anything you want to touch on with the coaches? You know, what are they like down there, the boys? Uh, yeah, they're not too bad. Scuzzy doesn't pass too many in the forward line, which is a bit rough. Um, but, no, it's... it's. Look, they've given me a role this year. Um, and, you know, they're really good coaches. They keep it real simple for the twos boys. Um, there's not too many rocket scientists in our side. So, you know, short, sharp message. And we get out there and we uh, just work for each other. And we've... They've formed a really close-knit group of group of fellas. I've lost a couple of grand finals to sides that, you know, on paper we were better than, but they were just closer and they just did it for each other. So hopefully we can we can replicate that this year. Now, uh, how do you combat the bigger grand? Obviously, boys, that was not the biggest grand down there, and finals are all played on uh, larger grands. What are you, you know, without getting too much away? How, how do you train for that? Like, how are you working to bridge that gap? Obviously, you're talking about all the grand finals you lost. You know, is that something that you're addressing? Yeah, so we'll just set up, uh, we are just talking about before, we'll set up some drills where we'll use our back line as the wing, um, like scenario planning and, you know, using centre-half forward where there's no centre-half forward at Boysdale. Um, so, yeah, we'll just try and work it out. It is difficult to adjust, but we've also played half our games on bigger grounds. Yeah. That's awesome. Cheers, Murph. Thanks for the insight, mate. All the best for the finals. Thanks, mate. Take it easy on the Canadians. Yeah, cheers, mate. Guys, uh, misplacing a few trophies isn't as bad as misplacing the game balls. What day did that happen, Saturday or Sunday? <laughs> Listen, congratulations, Morgan and Cherie, on drawing. Fantastic and well done, Sammy, on runners-up. So, Sammy, I started cheering for Painesville then for a minute. I didn't even realise you were playing for Lucknow. How have you enjoyed your year at Lucknow? Um, it's been really great. Um, it was a really last minute call um, but I've loved it that everyone at Luck Lucknow has been very welcoming and um, yeah just it was a very family orientated club it was really lovely 
how's mum and dad? Is dad here? Has he had a haircut yet? No. There he is. <laughs> the greatest plumber in, a, in East Gippsland. So, <laughs> sorry to embarrass you, Sammy. Sammy, what position do you play? Um, I was playing defence and then last, last minute, no, done. last minute um, I had a few games in goals, so that was a bit different, but yeah, I've been playing defence. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, Sammy. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Awesome, Sammy. Don't go walking away, right? You've got to stay up here. Um, Morgan, Cherie, awesome effort. Tied. Now, Morgan, how old are you? 21. Oh, nice. <laughs> Cherie? 42. Yeah, you're never too old, right? Guys, just keep cracking along. I know you shouldn't ask them when they're age, but Cherie, you know, you've had it. You were awesome at Lucknow the last couple of years, and you've just continued on this year. Had a good year and well deserved, so. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, cheers. No, it's been good. Um, love Lucknow. My family family all grew up through Lucknow, Boris and everyone, so it was hard to leave, but just being in Lakes got too hard travelling with the kids and everything, so it's been awesome to get back to Lakes this year. Um, they're a really welcoming club, and um, yeah, I've really enjoyed getting back into netball this year. It's been a few years since I've really enjoyed it, and um, loved it this year, and I think that showed on the court as well. Um, playing B grade's been awesome as well, you guys. All, all the competitors, they're just super athletes, and it's been awesome to, to play and get back into some good netball, so yeah. Now you've been playing in the centre? I have this year. I've been a bit of a mix. I've been centre wing attack, done a bit of goal shooting, but then back to my favourite goal defence where the pressure's off and I can just do my thing. So hopefully that's where I'll stay on Saturday, but you never know. Awesome. Well, that's where that salt hair in the, in the blood down there. Now, Morgan, where do you play? Uh, goalkeeper, goal defence. Nice. Now, uh, Caitlin was saying you're 6'6". Six, six. I don't know about that, but you obviously played pretty tall. Yeah, that's more in the advantage, really. Just stand there and look good. <laughs> oh, is that is that the key? No, she does a lot. She's very quick. Yeah. Nice. Now, uh, the Wyong girls, plenty going on. There's plenty of yuck coming out of this table. Now, we're into it early, but uh, good feeling. What what do you like most about uh, the Wyong Netball Club? Uh, I just love everybody that's there. We've got a really close-knit group that we all hang out with, and everybody's so welcoming. So, yeah, I've been there for a while. Girls are great. Boys are great. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that awesome. That will uh, do us, and we'll get Caitlin up again. Uh, enjoy the night, enjoy finals, and uh, have a good night. Thank years after COVID, um, so thank you very much for everyone that's involved in that. To Alicia and Sarah and um, the team, like, I can't do my job without the support from you guys, so thank you very much. And actually, most, most importantly, probably to my parents and my parent involves looking after Imogen for me to be able to go to training and play, because I wouldn't be able to do it without them. G'day, Bree. You better come over here, Rhys. Yeah, we'll, we'll um, because I think he's uh, he wants to ask you a couple of questions. No, listen, fantastic, congratulations. I I won't ask you much about netball. I just want to know how much work Rhys does in between doing stuff on a kick in the bush. Uh, Kennedy's. Yeah. <laughs> no work. <laughs> no Kennedy's work. It's all kick in the bush. <laughs> That's, all right. That's not true, Jeff. Cut that out, all right? Okay, we don't need that going to the bosses. Now, Breeze, uh, you've been a stalwart at Lindo for a couple of years now. You've had a good season. You know, it has been a little bit half. Can you talk us through the girls and how they've been tracking down there? Uh, it's been good. We had a bit of a slow start getting numbers, um, but we got there in the end. Uh, our experience probably wasn't there as it has been in previous years, but um, the girls all get to training, all worked really, really hard. I think we gelled. We started to gel halfway through the year, and we probably hit our straps a bit too late, but um, it's been really fun to play with all the girls this year. Now, you talk about me and my work ethic about a kick in the bush, but every morning you and Alicia are in the, at the front office talking about <laughs> netball and uh, how the other set sides are going, so yeah. that's not entirely true, but um, awesome year. Um, anything else, Cookie? Yeah. All good. Thanks, Breezer. Thanks. Sorry. Claudia Rajado from Lakes, tell me a bit about her, Caitlin. 
Yeah, so Claude, is she up there now? No, we don't see Claudia up there now, but we, we she's invited, so we know she's coming. Um, yeah, Lakes mid-quarter plays predominantly just in the centre and doesn't actually, well, she doesn't change against us. I'm not sure if she has through other teams, but uh, lively, very lively. Um, I'd, I'd say their main feeder down at Lakes and um, super defensive as well. That's where she can kind of hurt you. She can do both ends and she's had a great season and, and she is hard to match. She's someone that we definitely look at as a side and um, yeah, I'm not shocked to see her name and did you want me to go through that leaderboard? Bruce will ask you. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll bounce the ideas off you, Captain. I don't try and take over. <laughs> I know you got a head strong down in uh, Wyoming, but now we did watch the girls train during the year. Rach and Erica are sitting there. They've been watching. They've got a smirky smirk on their face and they're just ready for their um, pat on the back. Can you give it to them? And what I've seen, they have played pretty well this year. Yes, I can give them a pat on the back. They are both invited tonight. So what have we got up there now? They are not on the leaderboard right now, but they have both been invited. We had three invitees from Wyong, so I'm not allowed to use the word old. They did not like that when I did that last time. So I'm going to say veterans. That's my new word for the girls. Um, yeah, super experienced. Um, Rach down in defence and just an absolute stalwart. And she's coming off three, having three children. So I think probably the opposition probably don't know that. Rach has been away for many years, having three babies quite close together. She's crazy. And um, Erica, yeah, been around for a very long time. Previous A-grade coach, she, um, she knows what to do because she has been a coach, I suppose. She knows her stuff on the court. And she has stepped up this last half of the season. I'd, I'd say she's been absolutely dominant through that mid-court and she's um, playing a huge role for us at the moment. And, I, yeah, I'm excited to see both the veterans on Saturday in the prelim. That is much better. Now, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, good girl to cover. But uh, we've got Ali Weatherly and Lindley from um, Boysdale Bragginley by Agalon. Girls are going straight to the grand final. Can you talk to us? They've obviously been building something. Can you elaborate? Yeah, look, I think, you know, Boysdale are obviously pretty rowdy here tonight, and they should be. You know, they're, what, they get four netball through, straight through the grand final? Yep. So, um, fantastic, and I think five grand final they're looking at now with the reserves boys in, and they they should be proud, and they've had a fantastic year. Uh, Ellie is a um, goalkeeper. She plays goalkeeper um, predominantly, and a really smart defender. Um, yeah, knows what to do, knows how to play any sort of style. It doesn't. She doesn't stand very tall, but it doesn't really matter if she comes up at all because she knows what she's doing. And she's a um, she's a real voice for Boysdale. I find she's um, positive and very encouraging to her teammates. And I think when she starts to get up and about, the Boysdale girls lift. And and I, I like that about her in defence. You know, she's she's a real strong voice for them. And Lindley is an absolute workhorse. <laughs> Um, I think she chucked the whole six on her back on the on the second semi there and said, get on, because I'm winning this game for, for us today. And, and, yeah, I can't describe how tough and how strong she is through the midcourt. Um, I wouldn't have said she's a shooter, but she did pop up in goal attack against Wyong, so there you go. You shocked me there, Lindley. Um, but, yes, it can shoot, so that's fantastic. And I wouldn't be surprised if she can defend too, because it, at the moment it seems like she's pretty invincible. Um, Absolute leader for their for their midcourt and plays a huge role um, and will play a very big role in the grand final, I'd assume. Awesome. So there's one you've missed there. And that, yes, great, right. There's one of the Wyon girls there at the top of the, the board that you haven't mentioned. Word on the street is she's got a new boyfriend and he might have even been invited tonight. Can you tell us a little bit about Stevie Alvin? <laughs> I'll go nice on Stevie. She is my cousin and she will kill me later if I give it to her too much. But her boyfriend is invited tonight in the seniors. Um, obviously a power couple at Wyong. Like, that's clear. Um, yeah, Stevie is... She's 17 years old. I think you look at her and you probably wouldn't pick it. This is her first year in, uh, in senior netball. She was the only Wyong netballer to go straight from 17s through to A grade. Um, 
Uh, if you had asked me at probably about now, around 10, I would have said Stevie was our strongest player. And towards the end of the season, she just lifted. She has been absolutely amazing for us. Um, something you don't see very often is an, an A grade player that can do both ends. Um, you know, by, by the time you get to A grade, you're probably pretty set in your position and you know your role. But Stevie can go from defence to attack in shooting. Um, and she can do it whatever quarter you want her to. She can go one, two, three, four, all ends, and, and she does it perfectly. I think her season average um, ended up on 87% shooting for, for Wyong there, and um, super clean in... <laughs> <laughs> That's me, I'm a coach. <laughs> Super clean in defence. Um, yeah, it's, it's got height about her, so she matches up well to a lot of the tall shooters that we see throughout the A grade. And, um, yeah, what I like about Stevie is she's clean, um, she's fiery, and she's, um, she's fierce. Yeah, she's a fierce defender. Thank you. Now, uh, just, a, just a quick one to add on that. Just... From me notes out of Shreddy, Katie Costa, an experienced defender, could be a bit of a smoky as well. Mm. Now, just touching on Stevie, if she's an Alvin, I guess there'd be a bit of a spark in there, wouldn't there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Katie, is she in the house? I think she is here, yeah. Katie's here, I think. All right, yeah. make sure we give her a cheer. Yeah. Uh, anything else to add just before we... No, I haven't heard that. Uh, we've got Bree. I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think we'll get straight up into the... Get into it. That was a fantastic count. Uh, if you, if um, we looked at the leaderboard, uh, and unfortunately Claudia can't be here, uh, but the three girls with me, Lindley, Erica and Ali, all tied on 15 runners-up. That was fantastic. It's a really good sign of, of how good the competition is. Uh, so, Erica, you just spoke before about, about how many injuries you've had this year. Can you tell us a couple of them? Oh, I don't want to give away too many secrets for this game coming up. Um, I have, oh, I don't think it was about round five, I started suffering with a right shoulder rotor cuff injury, which has been ongoing, so I'm still at the physio every second week. Um, and then a spontaneous knee injury before the second last round, which I didn't end up playing because I wasn't quite sure what it was. But look, I'll give it a crack and I'm not sore at the moment, so bring it on. Don't you love those spontaneous injuries? Oh. And on the weekend, you've got a preliminary final. Uh, how are you, you're looking forward to that? Yeah, just excited to um, get back out there and bounce back after the loss on the weekend. Um, yeah, just really looking forward to it. Awesome. Now, um, Lindley and Ali, come runners up in the A grade netball in the, out of the same team. Like, that's a pretty awesome effort. Yeah. It's, it is really cool. Um, it's just been, like, we've been working all hard all season, been putting in the effort, so, yeah, it's well-deserved for both of us. It's really good. Now, deep down, were you thinking, you know, hopefully one of you is getting an injury so you can pull a couple of votes? Oh, I think I was the one that got injured. <laughs> I played a pretty um, just get through the second half of the games, and I was telling the girls using the excuse that I'm old, but obviously I'm the oldest one in the team, but when we're looking at, obviously, our opposition... <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit rough. No, I, I really have got nothing to complain about. But, um, yeah, and being a physio myself, I kind of help the others and just hobble through. Yeah. You shouldn't be telling everyone that you're a physio. You'll be on the you know, bikes up on the table trying to get a hammy. No, thanks very much, girls. Uh, awesome effort. I know you uh, guys are in the finals, and, you know, this weekend will determine who you got. So, awesome efforts. Great to see some smiles and just having a bit of a laugh. And, in, 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 you know, it is a serious comp, but these girls can you know, have a bit of a joke with each other, which is awesome to see. So, thanks very much. Congratulations, Sal. That's a great reward. And, and what a fantastic sponsor Dalson are. And, and it's fantastic business for the region. There's nothing they don't sponsor. So thank, thank you very much for that.
Uh, Alex, first things first, mate. You bought two pairs of boots online and neither of them fitted. Yeah. What happened there? I hope we're not getting sponsored by Sports Co. What happened with your boots? Oh, I'm getting ripped off her again. <laughs> 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 No, mate, in, in all honesty, uh, we'll be talking about you shortly uh, with, with the BNF, as in you're in the leaderboard, just giving you the heads up. You've yeah. gone back to Painesville this year. What have you enjoyed about playing football back there? Oh, it's a bit of a closer group, I think. More of a family club, so closer to home as well, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and what spot have you played? Uh, midfield, forward. You stay, kick many stay, goals? No, I kicked a couple, yeah. Stay, stay out of the back line. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nice. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Al, I think uh, you pretty much touched on it. Like, I don't think <laughs> yeah. we know where we go from here, mate. Man. But, um, you know, personally, what I've seen, you've had an awesome year. Um, I think you're a little bit shy on, on your footy ability. You're great below your knees. You, you can play high and you're quick and you've got plenty of stamina. So um, all the best, mate. It's a breakout season for you and uh, all the best in your yeah. pre-season. Thanks, uh, Sealy, for another good year. Um, really on the improve down, down home. And it's good to see, like Sealy said, we can't just bring players in from out of town. We're li literally all grown up in town. And the ones that are coming back, uh, they're either still got connections down at Orbos, they've been away for schooling and they've come back. So it's, it's really good to see. And like, we're just a tight-knit group down there. And hopefully we can improve again next year. And, uh, back in the finals, which is what we're just striving for. So yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, just it's an awesome club to be a part of. Obviously, that's why I drive two hours back to play there. Um, so yeah, can't fault them. It's just unreal to be there. So yeah, thanks. Well done, Hamish. Um, congratulations, mate. So. Like, to, to win the league goal-kicking is a fantastic effort because you didn't win a lot of games. What would you like to see Orbos recruit in the way of players? What style of players next year to try and, you know, maybe get you to kick some more goals? Uh, <laughs> my brother would be one, so then he can kick it down my throat. Um, but then we'll be fighting for each fall, I'd say, because he'd be, he's quite a good forward, so he's got a good set of hands on him. Um, but, yeah, to have him back, play with him and also Jarrah, um, who's played with this year, it'd be great to have the three of us back there. Um, yeah, probably a, probably a big centre-half back and a ruckman was, is on my wish list. That's about it. Awesome, now you heard it. Get the message out to Curly, get him back down there. Mate, um, 49 goals, it is a super effort, especially um, you know, the second half of the year. You were really dangerous. Got to watch you a couple of times this year. Mate, you know, your form, did you do any extra on the pre season or you just put it all into the goal kicking? No, I'll put a shout out to um, a young boys that bloke, Broden Kewish. So, me and Bree have been doing PT sessions with him every Tuesday and Wednesday. Obviously, can't get a training on, well, I don't go to training on Tuesday. Day, so I've got to do something. Um, so yeah, I'll give him a shout out because I think, yeah, he's just kept us in good stead and kept the gut down, that's for sure. <laughs> nice. Now, um, don't be too modest. It's, it is a huge effort. So all the best. You boys finished the year off really well and uh, keep that momentum going because, um, you know, you are hard to beat up there. So if you can get them games, you know, finals could be anything. So yeah. cheers, mate. Hopefully we've got the grand final at all, boss, too. Yeah. <laughs> Put that out the pally. <laughs> This is the big, the big show. This is uh, who's going to take Charlie home tonight time. So thanks, everyone, for having, hanging around. This will be an interesting 20 or so minutes. So perhaps, Ash, since you're nearest to me and we couldn't get much out of him when we asked him, he's got a lot to say on the track but not much on the mic. Do you want to tell us a little bit about Alex McLaren's year? Alex McLaren? Um, you probably got a few notes. Do you want to read them? <laughs> probably read not. Them <laughs> sure. No, he's, um, he's a super talented footballer. But, um, you know, he's been... Uh, his first half of the year was exceptional. A few injuries and um, stuff like that held him up in competing really deep into the back end of the season and probably um, hampered us as well. So maybe you can harden up a bit next year and we'll um, get a, go a little bit deeper. 
Excellent. No, no, good, good to get that background. Um, so who else have we got here? Tell us, what about, uh, do you know much about Tommy Stevenson? I, I believe he might, might be the, the guy who's going out with one of the netballers. Can you tell us a little bit about him other than that? Nah, Tommy played quite good football against us a few times this year and um, it's a um, surprise that there's not quite a few more of the Wyong boys here that have um, contributed to their side being successful this year and there's quite a few that hit the scoreboard quite hard um, but aren't, aren't here um, representing in the vote count. So for Tommy coming, most of the time I've, he played against us off the half back line but um, rebounded really, really well for I think he's probably 18, 19, Tommy. 17. There you go. So um, yeah, that's huge to be in 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 this area of uh, um, senior football league. So congratulations to him. Nice. Now Tal's is, is coming into boating season. What do you got down there for? Have you got any boat? What's your service like? Bring it on to outboard service. Bring it in, mate. We've got some good boats here. Just rock up. We'll look after you. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Now uh, we've got Reggie on the top 10 at the moment after 11 rounds. Seen him. He's had a great year. He can sort of play anywhere, can't he? Like he's uh, yeah. he's a tall. He can play in the rock, mid, back, forward. He's a, he's definitely a hard bloke to match up on. Yeah, no, he's very versatile. He's um, been knocked around a bit, broke his nose twice, two weeks in a row. Um, keeps getting up, keeps just getting his possessions and, yeah, doing well, really well. He's done well feeding me a couple dry cans on the weekend at the bar in Australia too, so good luck to him if you get the, if you get the message to him. Now, uh, a little bit of a smoky, just looking through the best, was uh, young uh, Lincoln Toner. What can you talk to tell us about him? Did you say young? Yeah. He's doing really well. Um, 36 years old, a veteran. Um, he's a bit of a power couple in the in the club, him and Katie. Um, I'm glad he hooked up with Katie. It's uh, It's been a really good blow-in for the last couple of years, so he's been excellent. He's like a diesel. Just keeps pumping away. Come on. <laughs> Well, that was a, a good intro, but um, yeah, a couple of veterans. Now, uh, where's he been playing? Because he sort of snuck under the radar, I think. Uh, Foster, Fish Creek. Is that right, Lincoln? Fish Creek. Tura. Tura. It's close, same place. Yeah, no, he's been down there, tucked away next to the coast, and um, no, he's been good, been excellent. He's just keeps going. He just keeps turning up on a Thursday night, trains for about 10 minutes, and yeah, <laughs> turns it on on Saturday. Hey, they just keep them legs fresh, mate. Now, um, great win on the weekend down here at, uh, at over at Lucky. What are what are the boys doing this week? And what, you know, they're obviously psyched to be in the grand final. But um, how's it on the track this week? They uh, went to the pool Tuesday night as a group. Went out for tea. Um, they were off the beers. They're pretty keen. Uh, That's a lie. Is Ducker off the beers? <laughs> He's had a couple, but the rest, of them, the rest of them, yeah, they're pretty dedicated. They're keen as they can't wait. It's um, going to be a big battle this weekend, as we know. Lyndon and Wyong. I hope they beat the crap out of each other, and it makes it easier for us. <laughs> well, well, at least you're on it, Tells. Anyway, now, um, Bully, we've got Joshy Carroll from the Pies. He's had an awesome year, probably his breakout as well. He's been in inside mid. He's quick. He can put the bus stop on. Um, big D on Grace. He's sleeping in. He's just in here in the uh, top ten as well. Both boys have had good years. Yeah, no, you're right, um, both of them. Um, well, when Grant first came to us this year, we, we warned him about Big D. Um, you know, trying to coach a Ruckman's not all that easy, and uh, especially Big D, but he, he got through to him. And, um, but in the end, he had, we just let D do what D does best. And, uh, you know, like all Ruckman, they, they, he does his job. He's a beast of a man. Uh, young Joshy Carroll, um, yeah, since coming to us a couple of years ago, he's, he's just grown. Um, yeah, he's just a ripping young man, and he's got talent to burn, and we look forward to the future and see what he can bring with our club. So. Yeah, I think another pre-season under that young fella is going to be awesome. But um, obviously disappointing on Sunday. But I think moving forward, obviously, um, you know, a new group. It was a challenge against an experienced Lindano side down there. Played really well. And we probably got exposed on a couple of things. Yeah, look, um, look, you know, we, we said to the boys at the start of the year, it's up to them, you know, if they wanted to, to make the effort, you know, had a few nights, you know, lacking numbers on training. I think that just showed at the end. So next year, these boys... Uh, 
um, you know, if they can really commit, this that team that we've got's young, um, you know, and exciting, and uh, we can go places. So yeah, yeah, I would agree. Now, uh, just on a couple of roughies that um, me and Cookie were chipping chipping about today, and that was young Lukey Alia out of Wyong. He's not up there at the moment. I don't believe in young Jockey Oven. So both have had all. Of, they are up there. I can't see that far. Well run, roughies, mate. <laughs> um, <laughs> both both have had good seasons. Plenty of width on the ground, um, you know, obviously they're looking to redeem themselves. Uh, and, ju and just to round, round off the, the group there, we've got Justin Gould. I did get, get some info off Luke today. He, he wasn't late like he was for the team's uh, last, last Friday morning. Uh, give me a little bit of, bit of background on, on Justin, um, that he you know, did an ACL in 2019, uh, won the club BNF. Um, in 2020, is that right? I don't know if I've got my numbers right here. 19, sorry. First game back after an injury last year, played two games, has got his body right this year and has had a fantastic year. Um, he did uh, suffer an injury towards the end of the year and Luke says it's because he was carrying everyone in the whole team, so he probably had a back injury. So, so good luck to him. Um, so listen, that almost rounds it up. I did get a text earlier today when I, when I asked for some, some information about Alex McLaren and he actually texted me directly and said, they call me Flash McLaren with my aerodynamic red locks that roll into my well-groomed blonde eyebrows. So well done for texting that to me, Alex. So if we, we can get on with the, with the senior vote count now and good luck to everyone. I hope it goes well. Stratford for welcoming you, welcoming me to the Sands uh, Clinical Club for the last couple of years. Um, and yeah, thanks for everyone that makes the work. So, ta. <laughs> 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 Give you a little chance, mate. Good on you, mate. Congratulations. Well done, Al. She's good. 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 So, um, well done, guys. Fantastic Lincoln. Bit of a runaway winner in the end. And Alex, uh, you've had a great season with the award before and then it's just disappeared, but oh, you were second with 16. And well done to Justin Gould coming in third with, with 14. Uh, Lincoln, you played on the weekend. You'd be looking forward to a, to a grand final. What do you like? Have you played in grand finals before? What are you looking most towards in the next couple of weeks? This will be number four, and I haven't lost. I haven't won one yet, so I'm pretty pretty keen. But uh, no, it's enjoy the week and see how it goes. What position do you play? In the ruck. That's pretty much it. They don't put me anywhere else. <laughs> So what do you believe that Stratty's done well this year? Uh, I, th I think there was a few people that were, you know, not surprised necessarily that you won on the weekend, but, you know, there was definitely a fair few people that would have backed Wyong. So what do you think you guys did on the weekend that, that uh, made the difference? I'm actually not quite sure. So the first quarter wasn't that great, but um, obviously we probably put a bit more concerted effort on being first to the ball after that, and then the results spoke for themselves. Now, Link, uh, just going through your, your, your stats on the weekend, I think Kloss has been trying to keep a lid on you because he only put you in the best five times. Yeah, well, probably not. I don't know. It's, I don't pick those, so it's not got nothing to do with me. Yeah, no, we'll take it up with Kloss. He, uh, he's had plenty to say for the last couple of weeks. So, um, mate, you obviously you can move behind the ball when you're not in the ruck and you can impact the play. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I just uh, seem to be in the right spot at the right time, get lucky. That's about it. I would uh, been around a few ruckmen over my footy career, and it's not luck if you can do that as a ruckman. Um, you don't go forward? I run forward as much as I can. Coaches hate me for it, but uh, no, that's, yeah, you get, get in trouble for it, so you soon learn to stay back. Awesome. Now, uh, Stratty, you've just been there for the couple of years. What do you, well, you know, what do you love most about Stratty at the moment? It is a very family-friendly club. Obviously, the, I've got between me and Katie. There's a few kids, and uh, they all get looked after very well. It's very community-raised. So, yeah, it's been good in that way. Nice. Now, Al, um, I know you didn't want to talk, mate, but you have had a good year. So, do you want to thank anyone? 
I just think Ash, what the coach, she's done a great job from where we were sitting at the start of the year. Yeah. Um, in the playing group, we've had a had a red hot crack at it, and um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Now, uh, moving forward, what would you like to see? I'd love to see Paisel play in a grand final. Hopefully, win one. Yep. But, how, do you, how do you get there? A lot of hard work, commitment. Nice. Yeah. I'll keep it quick, mate. I, I see that you've got an injury there. What have, what have you done? Is that a football injury? I hope you say yes. Yeah, yeah broke the finger the first 30 seconds on Saturday playing Lindeno, so. No worries, and how, how obviously it doesn't matter with the footy season, but um, when, do you know when's that, what's Ash got in plan for pre-season? Are you back in November or? Yeah, I'm not too sure yet. He hasn't spoke much about it, so we'll see. Maybe a couple of booze cruises. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So listen, well done, guys. Fantastic. Um, congratulations and um, good luck no in the finals. And thanks, Al. Thank you. Good on you.